Hey guys, I'm sitting at my desk here ready to edit this video, so I thought I'd better shoot an intro. So anyway, this video is all about how I managed to save a few dollars while I travel or while we actually spend less. So if you're interested in some of my tips, please keep watching. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about in this video is making your dollars stretch further on the road because, um, you know, I mean, I work for myself, but I don't earn a truckload of money, so I do have to make, make it count, but you can actually save quite a bit of money traveling and living as long as you use your, your noodle, you know, you don't have to do it all in a very expensive way, so... One of the biggest ones, I think, is free entertainment. Entertainment can be quite expensive. And enjoying free entertainment, like street festivals, markets, fairs, walking, cycling, exploring. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's quite a few free galleries and things if you're into arts and crafts. One of my hobbies that amuses me a great deal is photography. I really love that, but yes... That did cost me some money to set that up, but it's great fun. And it makes you get out there <laughs> and explore even more. So, yeah, with entertainment, get creative, find things you enjoy doing. Um, yeah, if you're spending time with friends, you don't have to go to a restaurant. You can have a potluck dinner or a um, picnic or something like that, and then go and do something. I used to do that a great deal with a friend of mine in Motueka, and she was a single mum, so we used to meet in the park with her and her little girl and bring a picnic and a thermos, <laughs> and her little girl would run around and we would just sit there and enjoy the park and watch her and have our picnic, which was wonderful and very, very affordable. Um, saving money on diesel, I mean diesel is one of the big expenses um, that we have if we want to move around or petrol if your vehicle's petrol um for me the big ones are how you drive drive consistently if you're driving you know reeving it right up and dropping the revs and stopping hard and reeving and stopping that uses so much more fuel than if you just actually find a nice consistent comfortable speed you like traveling at and stick to that tire pressure really important <laughs> It makes such a huge difference, and I know with bigger vehicles, I mean, you can't just do that at a gas station. You can't just pull in and use their compressors because they're not strong enough to do truck tyres. But I've never had a problem whenever I pull into a tyre place and ask them to do my tyre pressures. They're always happy to do so, and yeah, it it's, makes your tyres last longer and use less fuel. Um, cooking at home is another good one, you know, you don't have to eat out, do it now and then as an occasional thing, but, you know, especially in summer, we can cook outside so much, there's barbecues, there's things like that, having shared meals with friends once again, that's a good way to save your pingers when it comes to socialising, and buying dry goods in bulk, like I go to Binnan and places like that and buy rice and oats and porridgey stuff and lentils and whatever you're into eating in the dry goods, it's worth exploring and buying in larger quantities. And if you eat a lot of rice, a lot of those Asian stores have huge bags really quite affordably. <laughs> if you want to buy one of those, I don't because they're a bit of a hassle to store. But that sort of stuff, even if you're in the middle of nowhere and you're running a bit low on food, it can save you a trip into town if you've got a good few staples stashed away that uh, aren't going to go off. Another big one is free camping, of course. You know, I mean, camping grounds are really pretty expensive these days. I stay at either free places or cheap places, like where I am at the moment at AJ's. It's $5 a night per person. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm really happy with that. It's got a gate. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. 
to me five dollars a night is worth it but i don't really go to 20 or 30 dollar camping grounds i've done that once in a blue moon for some special reason but generally no that's not what i do and learning basic maintenance that can save you so much money because if you look after your vehicle things last longer it's like learning how to grease your vehicle if you're physically able and you haven't got any health issues that stop you from doing that it's one of the best bits of preventative maintenance you can do is to pump grease into all those moving joints because they just last longer and your kingpins and your ball joints and all of that don't wear as fast if they regularly get greased so that's a dirty grotty job but it's so worth it and a grease cartridge costs you what ten dollars once you've got a green gun, grease gun and yeah it'll save you so much wear and tear and just basic things like cleaning your air filter um yeah things like that checking your fan belt bits and pieces like that um, I like to get under mine and have a look to see that all the nuts and bolts are loose like last week I had to climb under because my exhaust was rattling in the bracket that goes from the muffler to the gearbox was loose and the bolt that it was bolted onto was actually leaking oil out of the gearbox so it was a good thing I checked that because I could have lost quite a bit of gearbox oil through that little problem so just even if you just go under there with a good torch and have a good look around and get familiar with things I mean greasing trucks I didn't actually know how to do that when I had my first bus but with this I learned and I learned by getting in the pit with my mechanic and saying show me where all the grease nipples are please so we did that and he showed me where everything was and yeah it's not that hard it's dirty but it's not that hard and it's such good preventative maintenance so yeah so preventative maintenance can save you a huge amount of money checking on things another one is checking if you've got dual tires on your vehicle checking your inner fuels bouncing something off them make sure they've got air in them because it's so easy to get a flat inner and not notice and then it gets wrecked if you keep driving I did it once and it went flat between Christchurch and Nelson and I didn't notice and by the time I got to Nelson it was <laughs> not usable anymore all the sidewalls were broken you know so mm, lesson learned so there's lots of creative ways to save money one thing I used to do especially if you travel on your own and have friends you catch up with is like a halves and things like I used to do that with a good friend of mine when we were both traveling with the same fare um yeah we didn't necessarily need a whole great big pumpkin each or a whole block of cheese or you know larger things like that so we'd one of us would buy one and cut it in half and share it you know with the other person and that way you get a usable quantity that doesn't go off before you get there because that's one of the things I find being on your own, you know, you quite often end up buying quantities of stuff you don't actually need. Um, so, yeah, sharing is a good way to do it. Um, and roadside stalls, you know, for your produce, for your veggies and your fruit, I like finding those. Possibly because I used to have one when I lived in Mapua near Nelson. I had a vet market garden and I had a roadside stall with vegetables and it was great yeah I have very loyal long-term customers and that was how I made a living I took some to the flea market too but um yeah I really appreciated the honest people so one thing I always do is pay <laughs> I don't think it's fair to take things from those without paying because people have worked for that but I love to support those growers that you know might have a bit of land and they're growing some produce on it and sticking it out at the gate and it's fresh and you know where it comes from it hasn't been on some ship or in some cool store for the last six months so yeah they're, they're really good ways flea markets are a great place to buy or farmers markets really nice food too huge fan of those rather than supermarkets because I think sometimes the stuff at supermarkets especially vegetables isn't that fresh and I find it really disappointing if I buy a vegetable and by the next day it's it's off even though it's in the fridge, you know. So, yeah. 
So there are many, many interesting ways. Doing things yourself is really a huge money saver, what you can. I'm not a mechanic. There's a lot of things I can't do, but some things I do have a go at. <laughs> um, I like to have some good advice about, about what I'm doing. Like when I replaced my lift pump, it was really nice because I had a retired mechanic nearby. I could hit up for info and pointers and things, so I knew he was there to ask for information but I did it and you know that was a repair that cost me about a hundred dollars rather than having to pay a mechanic and it wasn't that hard it was doable <laughs> you know I wouldn't like try and put a whole gearbox in because physically it's too heavy for me and things like that but just little maintenance things looking after things um, another one I'm a great fan of for under the vehicle to prevent rust is fisherline um, once or twice a year I buy a whole lot of those cans from Super Cheap or Fisherline, get under them my overalls and spray all the steel work with Fisherline, and <laughs> that um, just gives it a really good rust proofing I mean I smell to high heaven afterwards it's get the overalls off and straighten the shower and the truck smells a little bit for a couple of days but that dries off and passes but it is such a good rust preventative and can certainly prevent pretty expensive repairs further down the track considering a lot of us tend to spend a lot of time near the beach by salt salt air and things like that you know it's a good idea to do that so yeah if you've got any other great ideas on saving money on the road, I'm all keen to know about them. This is all about community and sharing ideas, so please put them forward if you've got any. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.